Today, we are going to make this satisfying waterfall. Let's begin. I will give you guys a rundown on how I made the waterfall. If I start making each and everything from beginning, the video will become very long. Okay, so the first thing is to add the base water layer. It's a simple shape layer with the required color. Now second thing I added is the wavy dark water shade. For that I have added a simple rectangle shape with the dark shade color. I curved the shape from the center using the pen tool. Then I applied the wave warp effect to the shape layer. You can copy the settings I have used. Then I have duplicated the wave warp effect and changed minor settings. You can pause the video and check them out. Finally, apply the roughen edges effect and adjust the settings. Now animate both offset turbulence property and evolution property using expressions. Do note that only the Y axis is animated for the offset turbulence property, as you can see from the expression. Lastly, I have pre-composed the layer and adjusted its position in the main comp. Okay, the third element is the white noise over the water. The noise are simple strokes of various widths. One of the stroke is tapered and rest two are normal, only the width is different. The first effect I have applied is fast box blur effect. The second effect is fractal noise. You can copy my settings. I have animated the offset turbulence property and evolution property using expressions. The third effect is Wave Warp. Settings are as shown. The final effect is Duplicate of Wave Warp, with more width and negative wave speed. The last step is to set the blending mode to Add, and that's it for the water noise. Okay time for the fourth element, the falling water noise. I have added a simple shape layer. Apply the fractal noise effect. And animate the offset turbulence and evolution properties using expressions. Now set the blending mode of the layer to add, and the falling water noise is ready. Time for the fifth element, which are the bouncy particles at the bottom. Add a simple shape layer, 
and particle systems effect. Copy my settings and adjust the position of producer. Now let's add the sixth element, which are the bottom water splashes. Add a simple rectangular shape using the pen tool. Keep the upper side pointy. Apply the wave warp effect and adjust the settings as shown. Duplicate the wave warp effect and adjust the settings. Now apply the roughen edges effect and copy my settings. Animate the offset turbulence and evolution properties using expressions. Now duplicate the shape layer and change its color. Now bring it a bit lower than the first splash. Now change the wave warp settings of the second splash as shown. There are minor changes in direction and phase, etc. Finally, pre-compose both the splash layers and adjust its position in the main comp. Apply a tint effect to the composition to adjust its color. The last element is the water bubbles at the top of the waterfall. For that, pre-compose all the previous elements into one single composition. For the bubbles, add a simple shape layer. Apply CC Mercury effect to the layer and adjust the settings as shown. So all the elements are now ready. For the scene, I have used a random vector background I got online. For the waterfall, I have masked it accordingly to the background. For the bubbles, I have created a separate mask and applied track mat to the bubbles layer. So that's how I made the whole waterfall scene. Hope you like it, and if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments. That's all from this tutorial, see you with the next one.